Many people might think that music and culture in Jamaica is just limited to reggae and a bunch of Rastafarians. Well, they're wrong. Jamaica is full of hidden history and musical traditions. For starters, more adventurous travelers can make plans to visit one of the region's proudest settlements. It's about a 30-minute drive from Port Antonio. That's the Maroon people in Moortown, Jamaica. The Maroon people of Jamaica have a fascinating past. Their ancestors successfully fought off British colonialists that sought to enslave them in 1655. The Maroons then settled and waged battles in the mountainous areas of the island for nearly 100 years. Then in 1740, they signed a treaty with the British, making them a sovereign nation and granting them several hundred acres of land where some of them still reside. Nice to meet you, Colonel. Yeah, peace to meet you, my brother. Colonel Wallace Sterling is the leader of the Moortown settlement of Maroon. Now, what are you doing here to preserve the culture? Well, basically, what we try to do is to pass on this stuff to the younger people. Like what? Like, for example, the story of our ancestors is wrapped up in the Cromanty songs and the Cromanty play. These are songs that our poor parents sung when they were in Africa, when they were here on the plantation, when they were out there fighting in the mountain. And if you time your trip properly, you may be able to witness an actual maroon drumming ceremony, a ritual considered highly sacred because it's used to call their ancestors. Individual country songs are sung for individual ancestors that have passed. So what you find happening that we don't sing country songs at all. And it's a big hack. Because you don't want to call the ancestors when you're in When you're in Jamaica, you can't go more than 20 feet without seeing some sort of reference to Bob Marley. Posters, t-shirts, placemats, photographs. You can even come in here and buy a, a Bob Marley hat for the winter. But if you're smart and ask the locals, you get to go beyond reggae just for a little bit and discover some true Jamaican music called Mento. Port Antonio's Jolly Boys are an island treasure. The group has been playing together for more than 40 years, keeping the Mento genre of music alive for multiple generations. The group's lead singer is also its youngest member. He's a young 74. What's different about Mento music? It, it's, it's slow, it's a slow rhythm, and it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's been here before I was born. And yet most people when they come to Jamaica they think reggae, but Mento precedes yeah, reggae. Yeah, precedes reggae, because uh, reggae is coming from Mento. Every destination in Jamaica has its signature restaurant or hotel. But in Port Antonio, they have something else. It's people. And if you just ask, they'll open up and share with you their way of life. It's about getting up close and personal and discovering one of Jamaica's true hidden gems.